Okay, so yeah, one other new thing is... Well, not a new thing. This is just unlocked now. Install skills. So the way install skills are, um, as we play the game, we'll find a... We'll find a God, God yeah. arcs. Yeah. Yeah, you it can... It gave me the hint on it in the yeah. loading screen. <laughs> it just gave me the random load... The random loading screen hint was useful for once. Yeah, there's a couple good ones in it. That, By like... the way, real quick thing. So you, you had a D&D today, right? Yeah. How much do you remember about fighter skills? The fighter, like, Bonk. abilities. Do you know this? Do you know the, uh, the, the ability, uh, in Indomitable does? Keep in mind, remember, I have never played 5th edition. You played Baldur's Gate, haven't you? I played Baldur's Gate 3, but Baldur's Gate, I didn't actually get, I haven't played Fighter, Super I played far? Warlock. Fair. Okay, so level 9, there's an ability called Indomitable. It's a level 9 ability, right? Once per day, when you fail a saving throw, you can re-roll the saving throw, but you must use the new roll. Uh, How go. bad is that? Oh, wait, wait, I found something. I found something. I found the emotes. How? Uh. Okay, so it was right pushing on the right thumbstick on controller. So. F2. <laughs> I always get nervous with the uh, with an F command. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Oh, you're you're shaking your head. I'm stretching. Be ready for the fight. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to find them out. They find out how to do that again. Cause sorry, I'll, co I'll come up later. Yeah, will it? Yes. Yes, it will. Oh my god. I see. I see. I see it. I see it. I see it. See what? Are you in the office? Yeah. The clock? What? Oh, cat! I forgot she... Sleepy paws. paws! I forgot she had the cat! Why can't I pet the cat? No, no. You want to know the Fenrir Far East branch has, a, has as a pet? Hmm. A capybara. I remember you telling me that, yeah. It's great. He My can... brain said it was either a chinchilla or a capybara. It's a capybara. Not only is it a capybara, it is because, um, this is not a system that I returned to this game, but like, you could have different navigators, and you at the end of a level, you get bonuses based on, like, I went the... down to the lab. Yeah. You get bonuses. There's there. a lady here with a gun. I'm coming back upstairs. I feel like I'm not welcome down here. Oh, right. Her. That, yeah, Was like, that correct? Yeah, no, you, you may notice, she has a god arc, but she also just has a normal fucking gun. <laughs> and I got she, Yeah. But no, um, so yeah, the navigators, one of the navigators you could use was the capybara. If you did, the capybara gave you, like, extra money. Oh yeah, I forgot, the name of this ash crawler is Chrysanthemum. Mm. I, I like all the names for stuff, like for organizations and God Eater, because they are very symbolic. Because, yeah. you know, Glyph Near. Oh, I've been playing uh, the new update for some days recently. Oh. They did a nice update on the armor and the um, darker models. You know, like, it's appropriate. The organization to, you know, destroy the, um,. The origami, which are basically named after gods of special mythologies, mm -hmm. is called Fenrir, yeah. which Fenrir was always said to devour the sun and the gods. Then we have Glipnir, which was the organization that had a reign on Fenrir before it collapsed, which, as I mentioned, is the rope that bound Fenrir to the tree. And it's shattering was or cutting was shattering, said, shattering, shattering, shattering the other ring. No, 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 the cutting of Glyphnir was said to be the start of um, one of the key triggers for Ragnarok. Hmm. Oh, I do actually have a new uh, what's it called? I have a new uh, skill. 
That means you probably hit things. Yeah, you've been kind of using weapons a little bit more consistently. You build, you build up charge, like, you know. No, 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 as in, like, one of the, like, abandoned god arcs. Things. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got one from the last level. You know what it does? Which one did you get? Uh, which one did you get? I don't know, I'm still in the cutscene. Uh, for yeah. a shield. Yeah, so, yeah, they're trying to see what the residence levels for the, uh, party is to see if we can use the device. Mm -hmm. Our man, our boy Zeke is the first to go. Insufficient rage. Two mile radius. Too small to keep us safe. I like Zeke. Like, Hugo is kind of like, between all three of them, Hugo, well, between the party, Hugo is kind of like, you know, the big brother of the group. Yeah. Zeke's that wild younger brother, but I love the energy he brings. Mm -hmm. And then there's us. We're kind of just the one who gets shit done. Why did I unlock so many weapons for, um, the Crescent thing? Uh, for Heavy Moon? Yeah. Uh, because Heavy Moon was marketed, at least the way it was, uh, suggested to a lot of people was it was a beginner-friendly weapon. It also has a little bit more of a versatile development set, where it can, uh, go into a lot of different elements and upgrade paths. Mm-hmm. So what other weapons should I try? Well, you've tried Maul, uh, Heavy, uh, the Maul, have you tried, uh, Longblade? I haven't used, I haven't used Maul yet. Well, not hammers, I mean. You've tried, uh, Great Sword. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Also, this game does have one big thing with Code Vein, and that is true ending. The biggest part of true ending. Character speak. Dating sim. No, at least we don't have that far. So, okay. Uh, it's not Persona. God. Okay, so I got Collector. What'd you get? Oracle. Which I believe is for guns. Shield. Oh. Is that auto guard? No. Raises maximum OP by 5 per level. Oh, you got a shield upgrade. My fault. I misunderstood. What do you mean? So, oh, wait, no. It's an insta skill. Oh, for, for your shield? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I meant. But you got an install skill for your shield. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, okay. Uh, Should I install it? Why not? You don't. You go. Wait. Oh, so it's not a replace thing. I have two of them then. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You see those slots at the very bottom? Yeah. That's the one that you um. Because I was checking the install skills, and I have two for shields actually. No. Oh. I have vigilant three, vigilant level three, which is increased defense by five, oh, 0 five percent per level against primary targets. Oh, and I, I have got, Oracle. Yeah, yeah. I did get um. So. Anyway. For shields, I got Bedrock. Priest defense by 1% per level if I was in first. I have a uh, stream up. Yeah. Uh, gun, I got nothing for guns, and I've got Collector for my melee. Should I install Oracle? It, up to I mean, why not? It's You're going to be cycling through a lot of... Um, can I uninstall skill. them? Yeah, you'll be, you can, oh, you can uh, overwrite in the future. And you uh, could get more. You'll get more that are more powerful as we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm switching over back to heavy moon. I'll try. Um. Hmm. Are knives any good? They're fast. That's um, what I ask. They're they're fairly good if you uh against large origami. They're actually pretty good because of the fact you can use the upper slash to get above an origami and unleash an aerial mm. combo above where they can swing and hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any here's here's what I'm gonna say. Any weapon in this game is it's like Monster Hunter. Any weapon is viable. I know if I play Monster Hunter, I know what weapon I'm going for. I swear to God, if you say longsword. God no! I'm not an edgy weeb. I mean, I, I've used heavy bow guns and, um, insect glaives. Why don't you try the, uh, longsword? No. 
the uh, you know, the blade, long blade. Oh, the the heavy blade. Is it the heavy blade? Do you mean the the big two-handed sword, or do you mean the normal long sword that long explodes? Blade. The normal long blade, not the Buster sword. That's the weeb one. Not Monster Hunter. This. Oh. This game. Oh, in this game, no. This yeah. game. Yeah, no. This game, everything's weeb, so it doesn't matter. Yes. No, 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 not Buster. No, no. Take another guess. Uh, bow. No. Umbrellas do sound cool, but no. We can inflict the trauma that was inflicted on us. No. I didn't. I didn't get that trauma. I just baited them off the edge. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. So our new deploy point is over here. Yeah. Actually, no, no, I know it's the chair. It's the chair. Yeah. But no. Um, remember, I a cleric main. We don't get this all the time, but I do like this first time cutscene doing this. Why is legs pressed so close together? Huh? Why are his legs pressed so close together? I think it's in particular because they use the same animation for both male and female. Uh, and it's to prevent the purpose. Like, his legs are like tied together. You see, stop the perverts, as it gives us a nice ass. around her ass. If I remember correctly, that guy there, I think he's an old type, uh, god, god arc user. I think his only has a sight. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God Eater also has, um, it only has an anime for the first one, and God, its insert songs are fantastic. That, like, God Eater 3 had, like, two years of support oh, after this. So my favorite things to do are play, you know, collecting a support role. Okay. So what weapon are you use in Monster Hunter? Um... Uh... A hunting horn. That or one of them. Lance. By the way, little trick. Get, uh, get your burst up to level uh, up before you kill the enemy. You could use the corpses to uh, get... Huge amounts of experience. Because hitting the corpse still triggers it. If you look at the lower left corner, you'll see the gauge. You'll, uh, you'll see a symbol every time you use a burst dart. Hmm? I was just jacking up my uh, experience rate for my heavy wounds uh, burst. Yeah. <clears throat> The first, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, the the parts of your gang were Surger, which is um a nor a Norse Scott uh, fire giant, part of the uh, Ragnarok. So what are you saying about mission taking Gilmus is over? It's not. Uh, I might have been wrong. I just lied to me, brother. Brother. In my defense, I haven't played God Eater three in a while. I spent four time playing God Eater two recently. Just Why? because God Eater 2 allows me for more disgusting bullet combinations. But it has a more unstable multiplayer. That and if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, God Eater 2's uh, endgame is kind of ass at its difficulty. Why? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, some of the Aragami have so much health that I could take up to half an hour for some of them. For two? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What's Gap mean? 
Uh, it's a weapon. It's, uh... I believe... Did we get gap for this one? I got plus one gap. Oh! Oh no, that's, um, an uh, experience we'll be using later. Custom bullets is unlocked! There we go. You ready for it? <laughs> Uh, the thing I, like I was the strongest bullet. Yeah. So okay, okay. Custom bullets as a system. Where? 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 Termin where? Where? Terminal right over here. So if you go down to loadout and bullets, you can now go down to custom, and we could create one. So okay, quickly breaking down how bullets work. There is modules, so you can decide first how the first part. The module decides how the bullet's going to fire, and you can choose element and everything from whatever one you want from the get-go. What's um? What's orb for? Um, orb will create. So orb, if you shoot we'll an orb, type. it will leave something in front of you, or if you yeah, move get it, that. But we'll have type. Any. Oh, so custom bullets actually have unique forms that do not exist in the other gun types. And, and these are not restricted to gun types. What's small, medium, large? Uh, the, so as you can see, the cost gets higher. Actually, I might be wrong. No, wait, was I, am I wrong? I thought you get... Hmm. I think the cost is the Oracle point cost, actually. I might, be, I might have been misremembering how custom bullets work. Hmm. That really changed. I don't know, but yeah. So I'm guessing like C's and blind and stuff like that are um. The SAS effects. Toxic mm -hmm. is uh, self-explanatory. C's is paralysis, and bind is another form. So uh, they can, as you can see, only start on standard um rounds. So talk about some tricks that people like to do. Um, I believe this still works here. You see uh where it says deco ammo. Mm-hmm. You can make it so that the thing you fire is not an actual bullet. It is just something to... The, a popular one to do was laser and redirect it so the laser... The laser... Two lasers go one left, one right, and then they leave an orb that proceeds to fire active lasers on top of enemies. <laughs> I don't remember if you can do that in this. You can! You can! <laughs> like, this is the thing that honestly sets... God Eater apart from Monster Hunter for me, and it is custom bullets. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorites is shot as deco ammo to uh, leave us. I believe it's still a thing. Um, that uh, basically creates. Yeah, no, I basically make explosive bullets. So what's radial do? Okay, so I'm going to go through each one from the top, if that's okay with you. Just shot, mm -hmm. self-explanatory. Laser is just a short beam in a straight line. Orbs are... Orbs by themselves don't do much. Orbs you want to basically use as deco rounds. Mm -hmm. To leave as turrets to shoot other rounds. Um, you also have uh, Rip, which is rotated place. Radials, um, well... I think it's better to show the radial round. It's a flamethrower. Oh. Okay, no, I'm, I was right. How so, do you yeah. test? How do you test? Uh, if you go on to here, back to the main menu, uh, you know, the main original bullet menu, control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay, no, I was wrong. There is a, there is only li a limited number of rounds you get. So it is a good idea to not, instead of making it an incredibly powerful, like, you know, you can have a couple custom rounds, have one that's low cost, that's, um, you know, high cost, that's going to be extreme, pow extreme powerful, one for breaking parts, one for dealing status effects. Mm -hmm. uh, if I remember correctly, do not use beam uh, for the weapon. Because the cost is kind of ass. Okay. And it also doesn't get the good thing of uh, the beam on the actual beam weapons, where you know it'll it continuously build up energy and get more powerful. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do that. All right. 
have to do it this way. So shot long. So do the Deco, what's it called? It's just, um... They don't deal damage. The Deco Orbs, they, they throw stuff repeatedly or just once? Uh, depends on how many things you attach to it. I attached four and I only fired once still. Uh, depends on, uh... Let me see here. Uh... Mm. No, uh... I'm trying to remember how to link. Because you, you mm. there, there's an actual order you have to go through here. Oh, I see now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. It's been a while since I've created bullets, but yeah, this is where you'll be spending a lot of time. <laughs> 